Sometimes a feature you want to make within your plugins requires users to run a command. These are actually fairly simple to make. For example, here I could do forward slash fly and it's going to say flying enabled. But if I do forward slash fly again, it's going to say flying disabled and I can no longer fly. This is exactly what we're going to be making within this video. If you're new to Java, then you might struggle to follow along with my Minecraft tutorials. Don't worry though, I have a complete Java course that you can watch for free by signing up for a free trial of Skillshare. This course has around 50 videos and nearly four hours of content that are all designed for the beginner. So if you're new to Java, then this is the perfect place to start. Go ahead and click on the link in the description or in the pinned comment to sign up for free. I like to separate all the commands I'm going to make within each individual file. So within my exact project here, I'm going to make a new package and I'm going to call this commands. Within here, I am now going to make a new file and I'm going to call this fly. If we use a different command name, then go ahead and change it to that instead. Now this class should implement a command executor and this is going to require us to override a function. So here I could say at override public boolean on command. Make sure that the C is capital there. And this is going to have four different arguments. The first one is going to be a command sender, which is either going to be a console or a player. I'm going to call this sender. The second one is going to be a command, which I'm just going to call command. And obviously this holds information about the command itself. We are then going to have a string called label, which is the name of the command. Then also a string array called arguments, which is going to be all the additional information passed in with the command. Now this is going to return a Boolean, as you can obviously see from here. Returning true means that everything works fine and returning false is going to show the correct usage of the command. So by default, you typically want to return true and then you want to return false if the syntax was incorrect. Now, before I actually write the logic for this command, I want to make sure that everything is set up and registered correctly. So let's go into my main file. Here I have on enable. And within this, I can then say git command. I can pass in a string, in this case fly. And then after I have access to the command, I can say set executor. I can pass in a new instance of the fly class, which I just made. Obviously, if you named your class something different or you have a different command name, you would use those names instead. Now, another very important thing is that we have to register what the fly command actually is within our plugin YML. This should be within your resources folder. So go ahead and open that. And then we can add in a new item here called commands. And then afterwards, we're going to be tabbed in once because this is going to be a list of all possible commands. In this case, I'm going to specify fly and then we're tabbed in once more. And here we can specify all the different properties for our fly command. If I use control space, it's going to show all the different options we have. There are five of them. The first one I'm going to specify is the description. In this case, I'm going to say toggles flying for the command sender. Obviously you can enter whatever description you want. Next, I'm going to specify the usage. This is the string that will actually be sent to the users if you ever return false within the on command function. So with the usage, I'm just going to say forward slash fly. This should be the correct usage to use within this exact command. Next, I'm going to specify aliases, which could be an array, for example, F or flying or toggle fly or anything like this. If you just have one specific alias, then you don't have to include the brackets. For example, if I just had F, then this would be valid as well. Next, we can have permission and the permission message. These are obviously optional and you could check these manually within the command itself. But for example, if the permission node was something you want to check for within your plugin YML, I can add in the permission node here, a basic example being fly. And by default, this is going to show you the red, you do not have permission to use this command message. And if you want to customize that, you can specify the permission message here. So for example, here I could say, you do not have permission. So now we have our command specified in our plugin YML. We have the actual command registered within our on enable right here. The last thing to do is to write the functionality within the actual fly command right here. Now, obviously consoles can't fly. So I want to make sure that only players can run this command. A standard way to do this is to say, if not sender instance of player, and here we have to import player, we can then return. And in this case, nothing actually went wrong. So I could simply say return true, but I want to send a custom message to the console whenever they try and run this command. So here I could say sender dot send message within quotes. I could say only players can run this command. Now, after this if statement, I now know that sender is going to be an instance of a player. So I can now create a player object here and assign it equal to the cast of player from sender. Now, my goal here is to toggle the flying option for the player. So first let's see if they have the ability to fly. There are two functions that can sometimes get confusing. The first one is player dot is flying. And this is if the player is actively flying at the moment. This is not what we're looking for in this exact case. I want to see if player dot get allow flight is true. So I could say if player dot get allow flight. This means that they may or may not be flying, but they have the ability to do so. In this case, I want to say player dot set allow flight false. And then I can send a message to the player by saying player 
message.send message, and then pass in flying disabled. Then I can have an else statement here that will say player dot set allow flight true and then i can send another message saying player dot send message and i can pass in flying enabled so now everything should be working i'm going to go ahead and build this plugin we have a successful build so i'm going to go ahead and restart my server so now i am in my server i can go ahead and use the fly command and it says only players can run this command if i do forward slash fly it now says fly enabled and i can fly and if i disable it i then fall to the ground i can now de-op myself and if i use forward slash fly we now see you do not have permission, which is the exact string that I put within my plugin YML right here. So obviously you can customize this. And of course the alias will still work. So instead of forward slash fly, I could just do forward slash F. Obviously I still don't have permission. So for example, I can go back and off myself and then forward slash F will now enable flying. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to download the source code, gain early access to new videos, as well as get your own Linux VPS, then consider becoming a YouTube member by clicking on the join button directly below this video.